Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It's like two o'clock. It is one o'clock. You wanna hear my exam schedule? Just wait, I'll hear your exam schedule in a second. But we are home. I'm just gonna turn off this radio. So we are home and all of us are home. We're getting ready for get Sophie's award night Christmas thing for our barn. Every single time I make the same thing. And it's this chocolate trifle. Comment below if you've made my chocolate trifle already. If you've ever made it, it's like everybody loves this thing. Like everywhere I go, it's the only, it's the only thing I got, you guys. Once you've reached perfection, why do anything else? This is it. I'm filming it. No. Okay. No, no, no. Over in this corner, it smells good actually. Sophie's trying the viral onion TikTok thing. I don't know what it is, but she is making this. Doesn't it look good? It looks like apple. It looks like apple something. That's why it it's looks good. It's spices, not. It's spices though. And it's onions. You're yeah. I'm gonna smell like onion. Are you gonna eat onions? Like you're just gonna take a bite of an well, onion like an apple? Well, it has and butter and garlic. And there's not enough spices in the world to make me take a bite of an onion. Anyway, that's gross. Also, comment below if you've tried that viral onion thing. What's it called, Sophie? I don't know. Yeah, it's gross. Gross. Who takes a bite? Who eats onions like a like an apple? Everyone on their job. All right, this is and, good. And then you peel it off and eat it. Both look like this and it's gonna be delicious. But it, ew. Okay, so this is the dress I'm gonna wear. Wait, let me show you. So it's a long sleeve dress. It's one I've had for a long time. And it's one that wraps around. It's one of my favorite kinds. So, uh, or, well, I don't think you guys are gonna get the, f I'll have to show it to you on, but basically it's one of my favorite dresses. It has this collar, I love the collar. Sophie is gonna wear the, the same, same dress as she wore last year. They have this rule that on Saturdays they get to sleep in and they love sleeping in so much. We all do. And so I bought Sophie a new dress this weekend, last weekend, because I don't like them to wear the same dress to the same party two times in a row. So anyway, I bought her a new dress and she hated it. So she, I bought Gabby a new dress too and Gabby hated it. So Gabby doesn't even wanna go, you guys. Like she's growing up. Yeah. Gabby's gonna tell me her exam schedule. Come on, Ellie, let's go for a walk. Let's go. So today I was watching on the cameras and Winston went missing. Winston went missing. I say that five times fast. Winston, Winston went missing. It's hard, trust me. Anyways, Winston went, Winston went missing. It's hard. I was freaking out. Like I kept calling him on the camera. I kept saying, come on, Winston. The other goats. The other goat and the pig were surrounding the fence and he was missing and I was freaking out. Even though he got a cut like over a week ago and I did everything the vet told me to do and I made sure he was healthy and safe. Got antibiotics and he got some vaccinations and he should be fine. And my reasonable brain knows that he should be fine. I was freaking out. Anyway, I ran down here really fast to check on him and he was fine. <laughs> he was asleep. That's the thing, like when you're a mom of animals or babies, your mind just goes crazy, like you worry so much. I was literally making a cake and I decided that Winston was dying of tetanus. Yep, that's what I was deciding. Listen, I thought, ah, we determined this yesterday. I'm a married woman. I am a married woman. Go away. Yes, you too, go away, I'm married. And I don't want to stink at the party. Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> Okay, this was a mistake. This was totally a mistake. I don't like boy germs on me when I'm getting ready to go to a party. No boy germs, even though you're so cute. And even though you're friendly now. <laughs> what? Come on. I literally just wanted to come down again and make sure that Winston was fine. Because women, as women, I swear we let our, our imagination run wild. We worry about things that we don't need to worry about. What I should be worried about is smelling like a goat at the award banquet. I don't want to smell like a goat. There you go, have some grass, have some leaves. See, you're picky. Goats are picky. People, people get goats all the time because they say, oh, goats aren't picky. They'll eat anything, but the truth is, goats are super picky. He's literally walking along the fence line, showing me, pointing at the leaves that he wants with his nose. 
There you go. I'm glad you're alive, Winston. I always worry because I don't want to like will it into being. And I know he's fine because he had a tetanus shot. He can't get tetanus now. I think a part of the problem too is that I go on all these like goat groups and I belong to all these goat groups and stuff and every single one of them are like, help, my goat got a cut and now it has tetanus and then people are like all doom and gloom online. And that really brings me down and makes me worry. <laughs> I need to get away from those groups. But I've also learned a lot from those groups. You're pretty darn cute, piggy. This weekend, uh, Sophie and I have big plans. Maybe even Sam, maybe even Gabby. We might need four people. I am going to put the pigs, well, I'm going to put the boy pig for sure, on his back. And I'm going to trim his hooves because they're getting a little bit long and I don't want to get into like a bad situation where it takes me forever to get them back where I need them. So we're going to cut his toenails. I'm going to flip him on his back, wrap him up in a blanket so he can't fight me. And I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to cut his nails and if I can find a wire saw, I'm going to cut his tusks because they're starting to come out of his mouth. You can't really see them, but I can just barely see the tip of them and it's really easy to do. You just use like one of those wire saws so I'm gonna go shopping and I'm gonna look for that that is part of the plan so that he goes into winter super good and it's supposed to be super warm tomorrow literally the sun makes you just want to lay down and get a suntan that's how I feel today I'm just gonna lay out here and get a suntan all right everyone's dying to know what did you do with storm last night I switched stalls I put him in lady stall and lady got his doll. How did Gabby handle that? Um, fine. Fine, okay. And he didn't get out, and then lady was probably really happy because she got she's the bigger stall. Bigger stall, stall yeah. She's bigger horse, too. I know. And did he get out, did you say? Nope. He, he was stuck in there all night. But then Penny was getting wild and started breaking stuff in her big stall. She pushed the bars. Do you think it's because they're used to having a round bale 24 hours a day now? So once their hay in their stall runs out, they start to get like freaked out? Yeah, probably. But I mean, they have enough hay that they could still eat some of it. All right, well, I'm going to go and get ready and do my hair and wash now. Uh-oh. Have a wash because I touched the goat and I touched the pig. But I wanted to show you guys the finished product of Anya. She's over a year old now. She's over a year old, super tiny. She likes to sit in that little bed. <laughs> Look at her. She likes to sit in that little bed and she likes to paw box the puppy, which the puppy is getting big. It's hard to think of her as a puppy now, but she's pretty super sweet. <laughs> You're pretty super sweet. And there's Daisy laying in the sun. That's her favorite place to sit. That's my spot and Daisy's spot. Do you guys remember when we got this puppy, when Sam got this puppy, she was so scared and so nervous of people. Like, so nervous of people. <laughs> don't film me, don't film me. <laughs> you guys gotta see Sophie. Don't film me. I won't film you. She's got curlers in her head and she looks funny. This is Sophie's mochi collection. Don't so, put them on the couch. That's if you guys don't know what a mochi is, it's these like sticky animals. Shout out to the fan who sent me two. Oh, they got me addicted Oops, to them. Can't. Yeah, so a fan sent Sophie two and got her addicted to them. So now this is her collection. So that's a turtle. Let's find something cute. Squirrel. A squirrel. Wait. My favorite. Isn't it so cute? A little squirrel. My favorite is this fish. Sophie likes this little fish. All right, she's got an octopus. How's that a dinosaur? Sophie, people do videos of themselves getting ready all the time. Well, I'm not being filmed with these in my hair. All right, wow, that's oh, a I lot also of like worms. I have three worms. Let's see. Packed down in there. Yeah, they're like smushed in there. Oh, they're so cute. Why is there hair on that now? There's not. What is that then? I don't know. You dropped on the couch. Oh, well. Wow. Oh, that see? one really has. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what? See, they don't fit if I don't push them down. 
So they're like jelly. They're like super sticky jelly things. Let me see what else you got. Oh, is this a platypus? No, it's a dinosaur. It's a dinosaur? Mm -hmm. also a oh, look at that. Isn't it so cute? That's a, it's not a dinosaur. It's a turtle. It's a dinosaur thing. It's like a beaver. Look at it. It's no, got a... it's a dinosaur. It just doesn't have his legs. It's just out the side of the... I have a unicorn. Cute little unicorn. Why don't we make a mochi collection short video and show all these mochis? What's God? This thing. <laughs> that was not sticky. Super cute octopus. Yeah, this one's not sticky. The dogs all look so interested. They're like, wow, wow, this is great. Except for Daisy, who's deaf and completely oblivious. We're spending way too much time on mochis, but this is one of the mochis that a fan gave her, this little this baby duck. They were in a package. That one's crusty as a panda. And then this little panda bear, and these are what got her addicted, and now she has a whole collection. Last one, it's a black dinosaur. Isn't it so cute? But look at this one, this was cute. Okay, then, then now there's a red dinosaur. I'm pretty sure mochis are basically like fidget toys. They are. Sophie and I are doing goat chores because we're gonna go to the party. She's doing it in her dress. <laughs> so. <laughs> Laura doesn't want to do it because she doesn't want to get all stinky. So, Me either. So I'm stuck doing it with Sophie. I guess she doesn't care if Sophie gets stinky, but we're going to do chores. You're very <laughs> At least you're not wearing your high heels. If I did that, I would die. That's what happens when you're a farmer. You have to go do your chores in a dress before you go do, do fancy stuff. Mm -hmm. Me, I just, I'm just going to dress like this, I think. Maybe yeah. different sweater, but... I don't dress up for those things. We're gonna let them all in. This water bucket moved. It was over there. It's moved. Are you ready? All right, I'll let them in. Okay, I'm gonna let them in. Here they come. Here they come. <laughs> They're going the wrong direction. They're going the wrong direction. Come on, boys. I'm Piggy. I don't have no pig food. Here you go, Piggy. I got no pig food, you gotta wait, you gotta wait. All right, I have to get him some pig food. Okay, he'll go in once, hey, you give him his food. There you go. Eat away, buddy. Eat away and keep warm, okay? We'll see you tomorrow morning. All right, well, what's the plan? Do I open anything? Pig. Who, what? Just the pig. Pig first. Okay, piggy, piggy posy. Come on, posy. Posy piggy, come on, posy. Come Bozy, come on in your stall, come on, I know you want your food. Get in there. There you go. One down. It's gonna be hard. This is gonna be hard. Blossom's gonna try and go in there. Which one's Blossom? Or not, she's just gonna Come on. Come on, let's go. Yeah, okay, you got her. One one. One doesn't know what to do. I'll go close this. I'll go close this. There you go. There you go, girl. Go to your stall. The boys wrecked their little dog house. This was a dog house. They wrecked it the other day, jumping on it. Fell apart. I mean, I could put it back together, but it's really flimsy. So now I have to build them something extra in their stall. And that was quick and easy, and we're done. We're done chores. That's way easier than doing horse chores. All right, goat chores are done. Chickens can't do until it's dark. So we'll do that when we get home and Gabby and I will do horses when we get home. We gotta put another round bell out there. I'll probably do that in the morning. They've gone through a round bell in five days. <laughs> five days, I think. I think I put it in Sunday. Sunday, Monday. Thursday, Thursday, Friday. Five days, five days. They ate that round bale and I don't know if that net is working very good. I'll have to figure something out. Maybe a new system. But I mean, they don't eat it all night now, so it should last longer, but it's colder, so they eat more, so. I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, new round bale going in tomorrow. Don't you know that